and the child grew. And one day he went out to his father who was with, with the reapers. And he said to his father, my head, my head. His father told a servant, carry him to his mother. That story is found in 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 18 through 19. In those verses, we find a poignant story of a Shunammite woman whose faith was put to the ultimate test. These women had shown extraordinary kindness to the prophet Elisha. And in return, Elisha had promised her a son. Yet in a cruel twist of fate, her beloved son fell, desperately ill. And as the young boy's condition worsened, the mother carried him to his father in the field, crying out in distress, my head, my head. It was a cry of anguish that any parent can understand when faced with the suffering of one of their child. In her desperate plea for help, the father instructed a servant to carry the ill boy back to his mother. What unfolds next is a remarkable display of faith. The mother took her son and laid him on the bed that had been prepared for the prophet in her home. Instead of succumbing, instead of losing her faith to desperation, she sought the Lord's intervention through the one who had prophesied her that she will have a son. Elijah, in a demonstration of compassion and faith, returned to the woman's house. The mother poured out her heart, recounting the promise of a son and the devastating turn of events. Elijah, moved by her distress, prayed earnestly for the boy's restoration. The narrative takes a surprising turn when Elisha physically engaged with the lifeless child. He stretched himself out on the boy, mouth to mouth, eyes to eyes, and hands to hand. The room begins to steer with life, and the child sneezes seven times, signaling a complete and miraculous recovery. This, this is an extraordinary story that teaches us a profound lesson about faith in the face of despair. These women and her journey from the initial promise of a son to the brink of losing him and finally experiencing his restoration reveals the power of persistent faith. Even when circumstances seem bleak and beyond hope, God invites you to bring your distress to him. In your darkness moments, when your heart cries out, my head, my head, God is attentive. God hears your cry. God hears his children's. This woman's unwavering faith moved the heart of God, prompting Elisha to become a vessel of divine healing. May this story inspire you to hold on to your faith in the midst of trials. Trust that God is not indifferent to your pain. Just as He restored this woman's son, He stands ready to bring restoration to your life when you turn to Him in faith and surrender. God bless you.